In this video, we'll take a look at the 2D kernel density plot in origin. I have a worksheet here with about 10,000 data points in X and Y. If I want to visualize such data, one quick way is to simply plot it as an XY scatter plot. I could then play with transparency settings to give me some visual indication of where the points are more dense in the XY space compared to other places. I could also plot the same data as a marginal histogram where again the main panel shows a scatter plot but the X and Y distributions are displayed. But this still doesn't give me a good idea of how the density of the distribution plays out in the XY space. A better option is to select the data, go to the plot menu and choose 2D kernel density plot. A dialog opens with several options. There are a couple of methods, bivariate kernel density estimator and rule of thumb. You could press F1 on the dialog to look at the algorithms. You can set the number of grid points that you desire in X and Y. I have set it to 100. The output could be either a contour or an image plot. Let me start with contour and click OK. A contour plot would be generated by calculating the density distribution using the chosen method. Once the plot is made, it's easy to change to a different palette. So for example, let me choose rainbow balance palette. So this gives you a much better picture of how the XY data points are distributed. I can click on the green log and do change parameters to bring up the dialog again. Let's change to the other method rule of thumb. And I'm also going to turn on raw data point display. Let me turn on a thousand data points. Note that what origin would do is it would pick the lowest density points to be displayed so that you get an idea of where is the high density in terms of the contour coloring and where are the low density points. I'll click OK and the graph will update showing the result of the new method plus the data points that represent data in the lower density regions. Hope this video was useful to you. Try this data plot with your data and give us feedback. We always look for your feedback to make further improvements to our graphing and analysis features. Thank you for watching.